Hey, how you doing? Corey Alley here, Profile Racing. We make a lot of stems, and not just number-wise, we make different styles. Besides our BMX stem, this is the most popular, the push stem. We have the Madeira stems, we have the acoustic stem. We do this retro one, we call it the Gen 1. It was one of the first clamp-on stems that we did. And this is the old, uh, we call it the wedge. This is actually the first stem we made before there was even clamp-on stem. And then there's three mountain bike stems that we make. We call this the helm. And actually this is the Nova, which is actually a mountain bike and a BMX stem. Every stem here comes out of the same size material. This is two inch by two inch. We get this in 12 foot bars. It comes in from the metal supplier and then we'll cut it up into different lengths. And once we do that, we put what we call a dovetail. You see it's cut a 45 degree angle on both sides and then it has, um, this is the locator pin. So when you put it in the fixture, it'll always be in the same place. They call this just a dovetail fixture. So we'll put it in like this. And tighten up. Good thing is it's actually in the same position because of the locator pin and it's super secure because what it's doing is pushing itself against the 45 degree angle. So you don't have to have any vices or anything to hold it. Basically, we can go from making a push stem, which we're gonna be doing now, we can go to an acoustic or a mountain bike stem pretty much just by changing the program or changing the size of the material. When we machine them, we try to make as a, a complete part as possible. And what I mean by that is if you did it like a, in a traditional way, you'd have to do one side, flip it over, do another side. You're gonna lose the, the accuracy or the tolerance. You might have variation just because it's not all being machined, machined at the same time. But what we're doing here, what we call fourth act. So we put it in here and we're able to machine all four sides of the stem in one operation. This is actually running push 53 millimeters. To do, a, to do two stems, it takes a little, the average is about 20 minutes. So you got about 10 minutes per stem. We actually, when we change programs, not all the stems use the same tools. Some of them use different taps, some of them use different end mills. This is what happens, after it's done, it comes out and it's got this. We have another machine over there with fixtures on it where we clamp it in here and we just cut off the back. But every, all the locating places for the bolt holes, everything's perfect because it's all done in one operation. All the stem machines, are basically dedicated to stem. So all the tools that you ever need for whatever stem you're doing is already in there. So you could just go on the screen, switch to, oh, I wanna do a mountain bike helm stem 50 millimeters. You just change that, put the piece in, and it's ready to go. This is another machine that is pretty much dedicated to production of stem, stem bodies and stem caps. Right now, this one is running the first half of a stem cap, push stem cap, actually. So we get the raw bar stock, comes in 12 foot length. We cut it up into whatever length we need it for. And then we run four at a time in um, one of the vices. We have actually four or five different vices in this machine that will do different parts of the stem. It's actually, this machine does the first operation, which puts the dovetail on the blank. And it also does the last operation, which actually is gonna cut off the, dove, uh, the remainder of the material that's left by the, the fourth axis. We'll do all the front side first, and then we'll change the vice jaws. I like that one says PSC2, that's push stem cap two. And they'll fit in here like this. Don't have to change out the whole vice. We just pop off the top and then we put them right back on for whatever stem cap we need. And then once we're done with the stem caps or the stem body, we go over them, we check them, make sure every, all the dimensions are correct. We take off some of the burrs and then they go out to either polishing or anodizing. That's how we make stems. I mean, we've done it for uh, probably about 15, 20 years now. All our stem products can be seen on our website, www.profileracing.com. It can be seen on the website and then on our store as well.